killing fields, a bony headsman kill killings rise to 52. Niger bandits kill 16. Sunday aborised. Leke Bayowu Godwin is senior. Repel Ede. Shide Bube Okema and James Ibrahim. The ban the pan northern sociopolitical organization Arewa Consultative Forum on Monday said Southeast leaders had left their responsibility for a separatist group, the indigenous peoples of Biafra. The ACF National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Emmanuel Yahweh, stated this in an interview with the Punch News as the number of those who died during headsmen attack on three Ebony communities rose to 52 on Monday. The ACF, in a statement by its chairman, Chief Audu Ogbe, issued a travel advisory to Northerners planning to visit the Southeast. It said, except such trips were matters of life and death, they should be shelved. The spate of violence in the Southeast continued with 11 people killed in fresh attack during IPOB stay at home. In Enugu State, a former High Court judge, Justice Stanley uh, Naji, was shot dead along a Beno, ton a Beno Tunnel, Enugu, on Sunday evening. Also, one of our correspondents on Monday learned that the corpse of the chief provost of Nigeria Immigration Service, Imo State Command, Okemeto, Okemeto Rere, who was assassinated on Saturday, was discovered in a bush on Sunday morning. Between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. on Monday, Good View Hotel at the Nekede axis of Oweri, Imo State, was burnt. In the afternoon, gunmen burnt the Amaduba Division Police Headquarters in the Isu local government area of the state. Also, on Monday, four policemen were killed in various parts of Enugu. Sources told one of the correspondents that one policeman was killed in, in Uwani in Enugu South. Two of Ngweme areas of, of, of coal camp and another, another one killed along Opara Avenue opposite Central Bank of Nigeria, all, all in the Enugu North. I don't know uh, what uh, this country has turned into. If you look at the headlines of this news, they said uh, blood fields. You see, if killings is taking place every day, I believe that such a country will not be able to develop further than it is right now. Because the blood of the innocent will be crying even against government against those who are in authority before the things happen. But people fail to know this. Now, when we are talking about killings every day, it becomes a worrisome and troublesome for people's mind. And it can even cause people to begin to faint and all of that. So let, us, let this not, not become a normal thing. When anything started, there will be a time that it will end. This killing, killing, killings every day, I think we are tired of hearing of all these things. Sometimes we doubt if it is true. People, be, people are, are, are elated to announce what is bad and what is good. Before, if one soul died, you know, everybody will stand to, people will be worried. People will be sympathized. But today, if we hear the number 50, 100, 200, people were not even, even moved. They say, is it only 200? Ah, what is going on with this society? So at this point in time, we are begging the government to bring all this thing into a steel. Killing is too much in Nigeria, and we cannot continue to hear this thing every day. So that is our appealing to the government.